Cooper Davis, winner of round number one. Here he faces Preacher's Kid. Let's check in with Kate. Davis's home in Buna, Texas, was in the projected path of Hurricane Laura, so he evacuated to Dallas on Monday with his wife, Kate, and son, Mac. He told me, thankfully, our home was not hit, so we made the most of our time in Dallas. We took Mac to the aquarium, the zoo, museums, spent extra time with the family, even found time to get on some practice bowls and make it to therapy, guys. Well, certainly great that he was able to find a silver lining amidst all that, and we send out our best wishes to everyone during this difficult time. Mac, I know you, you are a fellow Texan. Um, thankfully, right, you weren't inconvenienced much by this latest hurricane. Well, yeah, and, you know, but everyone that was, and, yep. you know, and great to hear Cooper and, and their things were safe and stuff. And as you said, just best wishes to everyone that, that was in that path. Focusing back on Davis's task at hand, Preacher's Kid, well, you can't argue with his record. A perfect 20-0, never been ridden. This is a really intriguing matchup right here uh, because when Davis is on his game, I'm not ever taking a bull over him. Um, and this is a really, really tough bull. So this, this one's a coin flip, man. I really feel like if Davis gets around the corner, this bull should go left. I give the advantage to Davis. Now, Preacher's Kid, we have seen him in the past kind of throw some tricks out there, like maybe start left, and then if that doesn't work, take off, and you never know what's going to happen from there. Chances are if he makes the eight, we are going to see a lead change just by virtue of what this bull is underneath him. Cooper Davis handles the kitchen sink and then gets run over by the Maytag. Davis able to hopefully stand and receive the cheers from this crowd. Doing his home state proud. We're going to have a new leader. A lot of guts from Cooper Davis right there. Some hop and skip out of Preacher's Kid. One direction didn't work. He tries it again. This is a difference between a score and what you've seen out of Montagna earlier. Davis did not give up on that right, even though the bull was kind of in control. 89 and a half points. The 2016 PBR World Champ sporting a new stash. And it's good luck. He's in the lead. Telegraph the script, partner. Bulls cannot go to the left with Joao on their back. Will it be enough to rival for that top spot? Whether or not it is, Joao knows 89 and a half. He's going to tie Cooper for number one. Well, and that was, that was just an outstanding job by Joao taking a pretty darn tough bull and making him look really easy as we take a look at the Rider over the bull score right there. Three and a half points. That's a two and a half points. My math is pretty sharp. It's okay. We'll work on it during the <laughs> next break.